Good evening, everyone. That was fun. Um, for a, quite a while, I've been wanting to make a video about this story because I just want to put it down for posterity, just to have uh, some reference to it in the future. Just have a video of me saying this story, just for future reference. <sighs> so, a year ago, junior year of a college, I was finally living off campus. And it was, I thought, it was great. Rent, $350 a month. Um, I finally had a space to myself, a comfortable bed. I thought it was the best place that I have ever lived. Um, my parents, however, they thought it was disgusting. <laughs> um, they had their reason. I understood where they came from. I disagreed, but I understood where they came from. They preferred me living somewhere uh, more of better quality. However, I didn't have a problem staying there, and I, I mainly focused on the positives. Uh, like I said, the, the good rent, the comfortable bed. It, it was great. It was great to live in my apartment. Now, my original plan for this year, senior year, I wanted to live there again. Um, but of course my family didn't want me to live there again. But I said, no, I like it here, it's so close to campus, I have my own room, everything's all set, I have my stuff here. Why would I move? Why would I make the hassle of moving if I'm happy here? So I thought of a compromise which I thought would, would be better than to live off campus. And that would be to apply to the position of an RA, a residential advisor. As an RA, you get to live on campus, it's free, it's free to live on campus and you get half, uh, half price off on food. And it's good to put on your resume. So I would barely, barely prefer that over living off campus for another year. So I thought, eh, why not? Plenty of people have said that I would make a good RA. I will register, I, I will apply. So I sent my resume. They bring me in for an interview. I nailed the interview. They bring me in for a group interview. And I felt I did pretty well on that one too. So I got an email a couple weeks afterwards and they said, hey Gilbert, guess what? You got what it takes to be an RA. Fuck yeah! But then the next sentence said, I'm paraphrasing, but all these other people also have what it takes to be an RA, but they're better than you. So we'll put you on the wait list instead. How's that sound? And I do have, I do know of at, of at least one person who was on the RA waitlist before they actually became an RA. So I thought, you know, it's perfectly possible to become an RA from being on the RA waitlist. So sure, sign me up. Um, but they said, hey, but if you want to be on the, wait, on the RA waitlist, you have to reserve a dorm. Okay, no problem. So I signed up. However, I did that thinking that I could just jump ship at any moment before the school year started. That's not how it works. At around mid-May, I go over to uh, the, the residential offices or whatever and said, hey, uh, I was on the RA waitlist, uh, I reserved a dorm, um, I've decided to live off campus. But they straight up said, no, you can't, you reserved, too bad, so sad, game over, you die, you lose, stay here, you suck. This was uh, maybe a month or so before my lease ended. So within 30 days, we had to find another guy. No, wait, two more guys, because uh, one of my roommates who recommended that apartment to me before junior year, um, he hated it. He hated the apartment. I, I really liked it, but he hated it. So yes, he was gonna jump ship anyways. And because I, I was forced to live here, which I think is bullshit. It is a bullshit move on, of the school. It, it just traps me into giving more money to them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and one more thing, one more thing. This was uh, a little bit after uh, my parents finally, finally greenlit, greenlit me, and they said, all right, son, you can live there for another year. So, so because my parents finally greenlit me, I went over to the landlady and said, hey, um, a month before the lease ended. Hey, uh, it, it seems like I will be staying here for another year. She said, hey, sweet. 
Um, I thought, hey, sweet, as well. But then I go, but then, like I said, I go over to the, the residential office, they said, no, you can't, you suck. And now I'm in this hall, this residence hall. And I mean, this place isn't bad. It's okay. The room's pretty comfortable. It has a, a common area, a little kitchenette. There's really nothing to complain about, except uh, my roommates. <laughs> No, 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 I, I, it's not me, it's them, or no, it's not them, it's me, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I, I just don't like living with people, is all. But yeah, but I was definitely a lot happier in my apartment. It was the one spot where I could just go after school, climb up the three floors, go into my room, shut the door, and just relax. Oh, I miss that. Now, well, overall it sucks because the, the money that I could have used to uh, save from living off campus, I could have paid some debts, some student loans. But yes, Verde Hall, I am about to be halfway done with you. I didn't ask to live here, but I'm making the best of it. <sighs> Read everything before you sign it. Sounds good. Have a good night. Take care. Kick ass.